around for some updates. As you can see, I removed the grenade. The grenade is placed aside for a moment. Um, we're focusing uh, right now only on the antenna and the test call operations. The main ingredient in the whole operation is about this, how it should be operating. Because a lot of people uh, manage to try and build it in various ways and um, various circuits. Um, circuit the operation how what it needs to be doing is very important um, I did a small mod on the cola catcher board right now as you can see Let me focus a bit so uh, this is the cola catcher board this is something I've placed uh, I connected to it today as you can see as a small 1k Right here as a 2.2 and a fired cap and my 20 kilo ohm variable. Um, this is in between the resistor um, protection um, right before uh, pin 9, 11, and 12 are sending signal to the transistors. Uh, so this is actually the part where um, inverted signals are coming from and and so forth and um, but what happened was as you can see I have the probe connected also on the base so we'll be showing you on the on the scope um, there needed to be more uh, control on the death time of the signal let's say if like uh, people should be guiding packets right but um, so here we're gonna see some raw um, outputs uh, going through the task and it's uh, operating completely so this allows me to control that time which I didn't have before so as you can see there is even a diode right before uh, connecting to the resistor and in between them connect to this circuitry to control it uh, might need a few mods extras to it but oh well so um, I'll be showing how it even also looks like when arcing it the differences when it's in um, disruptive operation and almost non-disruptive there's a big difference and it's what uh, many builders need to be looking for to do because it's um, it's very crucial to get it electrically uh, disruptive you need to have it like ionizing you have to make it like um, like white instead of purple coming out it could be a slight bit purple but you need to have white arcs coming out so as you can see Oh man, what happened here? Oh, there we go. So, these are signals that are coming out of the base. As you can see, these peaks and like at that time stopping right there. As you can see, this was before that mod, it was like a sinus. A bit of a sinus wave thing going on. But, um... And with very small peaks but right now installing that it increased the peaks a bit more and managed to get like a, a beautiful dead time at the very tip of it and then uh, repeat the cycle again peaks 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 all over as you can see um, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what this is all about uh, visually right now so I'm be turning the system on uh, this time I'm protected uh, wearing some rubber underneath my foot because um, you really don't want to get shocked by this oh man I'm gonna get a clear focus everything's impeding I can't even auto focus anymore on this hope the cam is still with me 
Um, as you can see. See, you hear the hissing and it's white. See here we have also a uh, demonstration of it. See if I can. Uh, can see these arcs. Are more white. Oh. Oh. Those sharks are nasty. I'm getting the sensation of uh, of sharks, but it's because I'm insulated. It's better because if I'm grounded, I'm getting nasty sharks through my body. So right now, my hand to the bolt or yeah the screwdriver then is actually acting like a virtual ground so because if I do this you can see it's working like normal arcs but this is what we need to look for because uh, see as this as the grenade and my hand touching this is the ground because the grenade is going to be acting to the ground Um, what I want to do is setting it back to where it was before without having so now it's no peaks but only sinus so you see now it's just uh, high frequency high voltage oscill oscillations now with this I'm not able to get any big results it was like this before but as you can see almost nothing like a few millimeters only I'm able to get like the disruptive because it was partially that's why my bigger bulb turned on uh, but partially as you can see right now the arcs are longer because I disabled the disruptor one leaving it as like a normal state again at the moment I switch down back arcs are white and it shocks it's amping everything even my PC is locked it's actually frozen but um, I think I could get it to run um, okay wait let me get it see uh, if we can get some readings live for a moment okay system is running there we go see the peaks now changing uh, the one which I installed so look what happens to those peaks see that's how it was there were minor peaks here and there on the very tip I was getting almost nothing but now changing it back makes peaks and this is what we're looking for I must give thanks to T1000 on, on the hand of help see it was like this let's say with those peaks uh, right now the doors are sharper right now so having more of the destructive part pure white this is as white as it can get Okay, that was the quick update. Um, I'll have to see what I can do any further. 
Um, oh, I wasn't even using the taps, but uh, the positioning of the primary needed to be there. That was the last position of the effect because uh, when the field is being generated, uh, um, the reason why it's here because if you move it a uh, bit more to the left, it changes how the effect behaves, and a bit to the right also changes the effect and uh, the oscillations. It's like uh, re reversing polarities, and this is like somewhere the dead zone, you could say. And it's quite nice, and uh, then I'll be able to tune to the nodes as like channels for subharmonics or not to see where. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure you guys just want to see the frequency of the test curve. The push pull could be maybe around, um, I don't know. Let me see, I'll be just connecting it here to the, I'm disconnecting the catcher for a moment, I'm just going to be measuring one of the, the FETS uh, signals. That's one of my uh, signals. Um, see what I can do frequency of 26 kilohertz all right so right now this is what uh, has been shown I'm back to the base Connecting the base, operating test coil. Of course, at this uh, voltage vision, it's quite nasty, a lot of spikes. But um, the frequency. This is the reading, average one, or yeah, value fluctuates. Don't know why, because it's also um, messing around with the computer. As you can see, if I change nodes, say to node five. Changed values. See, the minimum is right now 900 instead of 800 something. Maximum also changed. Putting it back. There we go. Alright, guys. I think this was enough. So this is the result that we need. We need disruptive output. We need lightning coming out out of the tips. Oh man. I don't know if the camera is recording because the, the screen froze. I'm gonna stop it. Right, the screen on pros right now. Um, okay, um, hope this was a good one. I know there's uh, more to be shown. So, um, be connecting the grenade, but uh, I could also be making another grenade based on uh, some tests that I need to be conducting with a plate and to the ground with a special circuit and to determine uh, 
frequency that it should be operating on and then make a grenade based on that but we'll be hang we'll be hanging out with this one first and see what it will do right now with this modification alright guys there's